Hey everybody, Pastor David here. Hope you're doing well today. I'm here at the, the doctor's office because I want to talk to you about, about being sick. It happens to all of us from time to time. Sometimes uh, we get sick. It can be something that's small, like a cold or maybe some allergies. And other times it can be a lot more serious where we have to go not only to the doctor's office, but maybe to the hospital right, to have uh, special care for us. And we living today are very lucky that we are able to go to a place like a doctor's office uh, to get regular checkups, to go when, uh, when we're sick or when we're injured. But long ago, for really a lot of human history, there weren't doctor's offices you could go to. There weren't a lot of doctors. And so people, if they got sick, had to rely on the care of their neighbors or people their house. There might be a doctor or some kind of uh, medicine person. Uh, they'd often be far away and have to come uh, and travel to a home. And, and a lot of the medicine back there just wasn't very good. Uh, they didn't know how to treat a lot of things. And so a doctor might, uh, might help you or that same doctor might hurt you while trying to help you. And so it's very tough to be sick uh, for a lot of human history. And in Jesus' time, that's kind of the way it was. People didn't really have access to, to good medical care. And so we find Jesus, as he walked the earth, going around uh, healing people, making people better. Uh, the Bible is full of great stories of Jesus making people who were sick feel better, helping people who were, were blind to help them to see again, helping people who were deaf to hear, helping people who couldn't walk, uh, walk again. There's a great story uh, where Jesus uh, finds this man who's lying on a, like a mat, kind of like a little rug, and he's not been able to walk for most of his life. And Jesus heals him. And the man gets, he jumps up and almost does a dance right there because he's so thankful that he can walk again. Okay. And as, as I said, we find Jesus doing this in all kinds of places. The gospel lesson I read today for church is about how Jesus goes to the house of one of his disciples, uh, the house of uh, Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. And there in the house is Simon Peter's mother-in-law. And she's sick if she has a fever. And the disciples tell Jesus about her. And he goes to her and he takes her by the hand and he lifts her up and her fever breaks. And she's all better. And she uh, is so thankful. She, she starts to, to help Jesus and the disciples. And she serves them, uh, prepares them a meal, and offers them a great hospitality. Uh, and while they're doing that, outside, word has started to spread about Jesus and how he can heal people and make them better. So the whole town comes out. And they all crowd around the house. And Jesus begins to heal those people who were sick. As I said, Jesus does that in a lot of places for a lot of people. But what about us today? We don't find uh, Jesus walking around healing people. Right? But God has given us today access to doctors and nurses and phys physicians, assistants, and all kinds of people that can help us, us, help us to stay healthy and to help us when we are sick. That's how God wants us to care for one another and take care of ourselves by going to, to the doctor's office in the hospital when we have to. So that's, that's part of how God takes care of our bodies today. But we also want to not only take advantage of having access to health care, but we also want to make sure that uh, we pray for people who are sick uh, and suffering, right, to, to let God know that our hearts are with those people and that we want them to uh, hopefully feel better. Right? So we can pray for uh, people that are sick uh, or hurt. Uh, and we can also pray for doctors and nurses too. Now you might have someone in your family who uh, works in medicine, maybe a doctor or a nurse or someone that works at a hospital or a clinic or something like that. And so you can offer your prayers for them that they stay safe and healthy, and that they are able to help others feel good as well. And as you know, we've been living in this time that we call a pandemic when this disease COVID-19 is, 
is out in the world and has a lot of bad consequences for people, especially older people and people with uh, big health concerns. Right? So we want to be uh, praying for those people and especially for doctors and nurses. And all the doctors and nurses who help uh, care for people. And uh, you never know. You know. Hopefully, you and I will be able to uh, not have to go to the doctor because we're super sick and that we don't get hurt. We can go to the doctor for our checkups and our physicals and stuff like that and hope that we don't have to go to the doctor. But when we do, we want to be thankful that they are there for us, that God has uh, called people to be doctors and nurses, called people with, with big hearts who want to help other people feel good and be healthy and well. So even though Jesus isn't walking around healing people today, he still makes it possible for us to get better thanks to doctors and nurses and everybody who works in medicine to help us be healthy and safe. So we want to remember to pray for them, for them and for everyone who might be sick or suffering. And you might know someone today who is not feeling well, who could use a little bit of prayer. And maybe that's you. And if it is you, if you're not feeling well, I, I pray for you that you will feel better. Um, but I'm asking you to think about someone you know in your life who may be sick or injured and could use a little bit of extra prayer. I want you to pray for doctors and nurses, uh, for care attendants, and even the people that, that work in the hospital to serve food and clean the rooms because they're very important to help people get better as well. So uh, if you could do that uh, on your own with your parents, that would be great. I'm going to do it now just kind of as an example of how we can pray in that way. So let's do that now, shall we? Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for uh, your son who uh, during his life, walked around bringing healing uh, to people, restoring their lives and helping them to feel better. And we thank you, Lord, for today, for uh, the doctors and nurses that you have called into the field of medicine to uh, care for your people who are sick or injured uh, and to help us stay safe and healthy throughout our whole lives. Bless all the doctors and nurses and everybody who works in hospitals and doctor's offices and clinics, uh, especially here at our Sanford Clinic uh, in Enderlin and the Lisbon Hospital and clinics as well, Lord. And we pray for those people that we know in our own lives who need to feel better. May you watch over those people. May you help them to heal and be strong and help us to uh, remember to pray for all your people in need, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So you've already prayed with me now. That's, that's good. But I also want you to try to do that on your own as well. Maybe tonight when you go to bed, remember to pray for, for doctors and nurses and people who need uh, to feel good, whose bodies are hurt uh, and, and need to heal. So that's my, my message for you today, friends. I hope that you stay healthy, that you go to the doctor for your checkups. And that uh, when you're not feeling well, that your parents are able to take you to the doctor so you can uh, get checked out, you can get your medicine, you can get your shots, whatever you need to be healthy and safe. So God bless you. I miss you, friends. I look forward to seeing you soon. Be well, be healthy, and remember that God loves you. Bye.